So finally, President Buseveni has commented on the birthday parties his son, Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba, has been organizing around the country. In other news, and this is on a sad note, we have again lost another university student. But guys, what's happening in Uganda, man? This is too much. Anyways, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Remember, I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. Now, going to the details of the stories I got for you right now. Uh, President Museveni has finally commented about the several birthday parties that have been organized around the country by his son, Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba. Now, in the past month, uh, several birthday parties have been organized to celebrate Mohozi Kainerugaba's 48th birthday, and a section of the public has been questioning about two things. One, why isn't President Museveni commenting on these birthday parties around the country to an extent of blocking main roads because of just a birthday party? Secondly, people have been questioning that why isn't President Museveni stopping his son, Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba, from uttering out political statements on his Twitter since he's still a serving army officer. But guess what? Our President Museveni has finally commented on the birthday parties his son, Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba, has been organizing around the country. Now, President Museveni was in an interview with an international media channel called TRT World at Nakasero State House. Uh, Museveni said that his son was only celebrating his birthday and that people of goodwill decided to make it worthwhile through different parties. Now, President Museveni, in his own words, he said it was only a birthday. There was goodwill and people came up, which was good, but it was only a birthday. There you go, President Museveni responding to TRT World, an international media channel right there. Now, a section of the public has said by allowing those birthday parties around the country, President Museveni was introducing his son, Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba, as the next president of Uganda. However, uh, President Museveni, in an interview with TRT World, he dismissed those claims and he emphasized that it is not true. Now, in his own words, he said, Uganda belongs to Ugandans. It does not belong to me or my family. It is for the Ugandans to decide. Now, this is not the first time President Museveni dismissing such reports of grooming his son to take over power in Uganda. Now, it should be remembered that earlier this year in an interview, uh, President Museveni insisted that if Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba wanted to be president just like anyone, he would have to seek the mandate of the people. Uh, relatedly, Bosiro County East Member of Parliament, Horrible Medad Segona, has advised Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba not to trust his father on the issue of replacing him as the next president of Uganda. A horrible Medad Segona says, President Museveni has promised many people that top seat, but it has not come to pass. Don't trust Museveni. Apart from the allegation that he's your father, you don't know Museveni. He has promised many other people that chair before. He can turn around. And when he turns around, my friend, you may face it rough. Because the state is a monster. It feeds on its own vultures. Your own father can feed on you. Now, in other news and on a sad note, we have lost another university student called Kasozi Israel from Chambogo University. Now, Kasozi was getting ready to start his third year and uh, he was pursuing BBA, that is bachelor's degree in business administration. Now, I know you must be questioning yourself that was it an accident again? I mean, what was the problem? What was the cause of his death? Now, listen, Kasozi had a liver infection and it has been disturbing him for quite some time. You know, they have been treating it. He gets better today and tomorrow it gets back. But this time around, when the infection attacked him, unfortunately, he did not survive. Uh, Kasozi's death brings the death of university students we have lost in two months to six. Yes. Actually, if you have been following my updates right here on the Buzz UG, I have been giving you all this information. My friend, this is too bad. Eh? Yeah, this is too bad. Anyways, may all their souls rest in peace. 
Now, in other news, and this is coming from the entertainment industry, uh, Wizo Manizo is not happy with fans who keep asking him for new music. Uh, we all know Wizo Manizo used to sing with the late Mose Radio and they had hit songs that are still making their fans dust till morning. However, ever since Mose Radio died in 2018, uh, Wizo has not been that active musically. Now, recently, Wizo was in an interview and he said he's tired of people asking him for new music, yet they don't even know his old songs. Now, Wizo Manizo father said he's still mourning his brother Mose Radio and therefore people should give him ample time. So that is it from Wiso Manizo. Uh, if you have been asking him for new music, please don't put him on pressure. Let the big man take his time. Otherwise, that's the latest news I have for you right here on The Buzz UG. Uh, just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Remember, I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. Thank you.